Now let's hit it off, direction Aberek. Hello! We have been told the current was strong here, but I didn't expect that. It's close to two Menta spots. We are almost guaranteed a Menta sighting. What a dive! That was a success! We saw three Mentas. Oh my god, there's dolphins over there! Looks like this day keeps getting better! Welcome back on Take It Easy! Today we are taking our Menta search to the next level. Follow us to a spot where we can't miss them. Good morning! It's time to leave Wofo. To be honest, the main reason is that we have nothing left to eat on the boat. So yeah, we can eat fish, but we kind of want other stuff as well. Because we don't want to go all the way to Sorong, we're going to try and go to Waisai, which means we might be limited in what we can restock. But I'd rather have less food choice and more dive time. Off we go to Waisai to restock. Of course, without any wind, we're having to motor the whole way. Part of this journey includes crossing the Cabri Passage once again. But now we are experts, right? Make sure to watch the video. Once at our destination, we anchored right in front of the city and we actually took the dinghy to shore to hit the fresh food market. Do you see something you like? Oh, I see so many things I like. Some dragon fruits, pineapple. Thank you. Hello. Before leaving, we are also going to the tiny supermarket to get some of the pantry items and we are set for another few weeks of great. We managed to do everything. Now the only thing we don't have is avocado and toilet paper. <laughs> Hello! Hey, hi! Us <laughs> kids. Okay, now let's hit it off. Direction Aberek. It's one of the few inhabited islands around here and it's one of the spots we vividly remember from our honeymoon six years ago. And the main interest of that place, it's close to two Menta spots. So if we can find them, we are almost guaranteed a Menta sighting. It is a perfectly calm day. There's actually no wind at all. We are at anchor and look at this. That's the currents. It's just unbelievable. And if you look a little bit further down here, it looks like there's chaos, but there's no wind. It's just the current. Look at this. We have been told the current was strong here, but I didn't expect that. That's crazy strong. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get in the water now, so we're probably going to wait for the current to drop and we can try and look for mentas today. Hopefully we find the right spot, but um, it is Erborek, which is supposed to be a very well-known site for uh, mentas. Two hours later. Apparently there's um, a lot of mentor spots around where we are. The only issue is we don't know where the spot is. We tried to look for the GPS coordinate and we couldn't find them. So we've got a solution. We're gonna take the dinghy around, got the drone 
We're gonna put it up in the air and try and look for mentas. Maybe we're gonna get lucky. If not, well, we find a reef and, and snorkel and see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find a few mentas with a drone. Once we hit the spot where the supposed location is, bam, we see the structure. So no need to bother launching the drone. We've nailed it. And luckily, we are the only one here. Now, we're still using the drone to see if the mentas are actually there, shall we? The cleaning station is surrounded by shallow reefs, but it is in the deeper zone. Sadly, so far, no menta in sight. Maybe they are staying in the deeper end, right? Let's hope so. Well, couldn't find any mentas on the drone, so I guess we're gonna have to go and uh, check for ourselves. But uh, I'm quite impressed by this area. One of the things that you need to do to protect the mentas in the cleaning station is to not go over the cleaning station with your engine running. And I was quite scared that we wouldn't know where it would be and we would go over without knowing. But actually they marked everything up with uh, the reef helps obviously, but with some mooring boys and, and this house here that explains everything. So it's quite easy to avoid. So first part done. We flew the drone but couldn't see any mentas unfortunately, so does that mean that there's not any? I mean, let's go and check. What a dive! That was a success! Oh yeah, that snorkel was just amazing. We saw three mentas, two big ones and a baby. Yeah, tiny little one! <laughs> that I mean, one tiny, my size, but... <laughs> yeah, it was hanging out with the big one. Ah, yeah, oh, that was, was beautiful. It was so cool. They are so peaceful, I love mentas. We need to come back here, but with the tanks, because I want to be able to see them from down there, not move, just look at them, not struggle to breathe. That would be great. I think we should uh, reload our diving tanks the next couple of days, just come back. Next couple of days? No, we're coming back tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's come back tomorrow and now that we know exactly where it is, we know where to move the dinghy. I think yeah. that's the main part, is that we know that we can move the dinghy without endangering anything. We don't have to anchor. So that is such a relief because then there's nothing to worry about. You can just go in the water, go down, enjoy your stay. And it's not very deep, it's like 10, 15 meters Yeah, maybe 10 to 15. Most, which means... We can stay down there for a long time. Let's pack up and um, so we can reload our tanks.
Oh my god, that was such an experience. I loved it. The way these mantas move is just, it's indescribable. It looks like they're flying, the way they move their wings and everything. It's just so peaceful and relaxing. I can't even tell you. Only downside today is that because we were not with the tanks, it's not as peaceful because you always have to remember to come back up for air. I can't wait to go back tomorrow with the tanks because then we're going to get the full experience. I really, really hope that they are still going to be there. So, so yeah, can't wait for tomorrow and oh, oh my god, there's dolphins over there. Look at that. Amazing. Ah, oh, oh, I wish they could come to the boat. They're playing and jumping. It's so cool. Oh, I love dolphins as well. Looks like this day keeps getting better. Love this place. If it wasn't for the current though. <laughs> so yeah, there's two mental spots actually around here. I think unfortunately this one is the only one that we can do because the other one it's called Mentor Ridge, I think. It is full of current. Just the two of us. I don't think that's doable because you don't want to have to tow the dinghy above a mental station because then they could like get hurt with the rope. So that's not a good idea. So we're not going to do that. And anchoring the dinghy coming back to it with too much current is not going to be doable but as long as in this first spot where there's no current they keep coming i'm happy mm -hmm. good morning well seven in the morning but i've lost jan he's already out of bed let's go find out what he's doing i don't understand he's nowhere to be found He's not on the couch, he's not in bed, he's nowhere. Let me check up front. Um, babe, what are you doing? Let's go. You said you wanted to dive. It's no? it's seven in the morning. The sun isn't even fully out. Well, by the time you get ready, I think it's going to be up and we can be there diving, no? Breakfast, no. Come on. Oh, come on, we have <laughs> breakfast after. Have you never been on the liverboard? They just go, have like a juice or whatever. They go diving and then they have breakfast. We are liverboard. So let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready.
Well, what a day it was. I know we talk a lot about mentors on this channel, but it's kind of what we've been chasing all along with this boat and this lifestyle and everything. Like the feeling that we get when we see mentors, it's kind of like a meditative state. Diving gives us that already, but the mentors, it just makes us stop thinking, just be present in the moment, forget about everything and we are just in the moment. And I can't quite get that with anything else. So yeah, we just really love mentors and love swimming with them. Anyways, that's it for us this week. But before I go, I wanted to take a moment to thank you guys. It's truly heartwarming to see our little community growing. We've had the pleasure of meeting some of you on our travels and it's incredible how it feels like a small family. The stories you've shared, the advice you've given, it means the world to us. Now, we've been getting a lot of questions about setting up a Patreon page. While we haven't taken the plunge just yet, we've come up with something else. So if you want to show some love and support, we've created a page where you can buy us a slice of pizza, which is our fuel for those long sales. The link is in the description below. Of course, it is totally optional. We can't stress enough that just tuning in every Sunday, reaching this point in the video, it's already a load of support. So whether you're considering the pizza option or not, your continued support means everything to us. So hit that subscribe button, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and hey, sharing is caring. Spread the love with your mates who might dig our adventures. Until next Sunday, thanks for being the awesome crew that you are, and see you on the next wave. Bye!